An internal government document revealed recently that criminals using iMessage are much harder for law enforcement to track than those using text or phone calls. Here's the document first obtained by CNET. Labeled law enforcement sensitive, it details the challenges faced by law enforcement when lawfully spying on citizens suspected of committing crimes. According to the report, iMessage communication between smartphones are not captured or provided by the cell phone service providers. iMessage, as you probably know, allows users to send messages to and from any iDevice, regardless of service provider. Law enforcement's problem arises because the messages are not sent through traditional texting or SMS and therefore can't be traced the same way. And then the problem actually gets deeper. The 1994 Wiretapping Act requires telecom companies to build background programs into their communication systems that make it easier for law enforcement to monitor users. But Apple is a tech company, not a telecom. ZDNet says that doesn't mean users are invincible. Similar to BlackBerry Messenger, iMessage is encrypted and housed by Apple, so the company could be subpoenaed to hand over records. But with Apple's ironclad secrecy, nobody knows what encryption the company uses or how long they store data, such as iMessage history. A policy analyst with the ACLU tells CNET the service is not designed to be government proof, it's just more difficult to monitor. He adds, the real issue is why the phone companies in 2013 are still delivering an unencrypted audio and text service to users. It's disgraceful. The Huffington Post reports the FBI has long been concerned with what it calls the going dark problem, the increasing difficulty of monitoring communication. The Bureau has been working for several years with lawmakers to find ways to access newer forms of communication. Last year, the FBI quietly asked web companies to not oppose a bill that would place new wiretap requirements on web email, social networking sites, and even instant messaging services. That bill has not yet been introduced in Congress. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.